Welcome to New Frontiers, the rationale for CDK4-6 inhibition in cancer. I'm Elizabeth Reed from the University of Nebraska, and I'm here with Dr. Cynthia Ma from Washington University. This is Lesson 1, the biological rationale for CDK4-6 inhibitors. Welcome, Cynthia. Thank you. Our improved understanding of the mechanisms of drug resistance resulted in the development of novel inhibitor inhibitors that accurately target molecular pathways, such as the cyclin D1 and CDK4-6 complex. What's the pathobiologic role of the complex? So cyclin D1 is a, a cyclin that activates the cyclin-dependent kinase 4 and 6. Uh, without cyclin D1, CDK4-6 uh, would not be able to function. So the CDK4 and 6, they are enzymes uh, required for the transition from the G1 to S phase. So S phase is just abbreviation for DNA synthesis phase. And before uh, cells commit to the DNA synthesis phase, it has to be controlled by the CDK4 and 6. So normally this cycle is very well uh, controlled, but in cancer cells is highly um, deregulated. So CDK4-6, what it does is it phosphorylate a downstream target called retinoblastoma protein RB. So when the RB is phosphorylated, it releases this transcription factor called E2F. And when E2F is released, it causes uh, uh, activation of genes important for cell proliferation and the cells commit to the DNA synthesis phase. How does cyclin D kinase 4 6 inhibition control cancer cell proliferation? So, cancer cells uh, many times are dependent on the CDK4 6 activity. Uh, the G1 to S phase transition is critical for cell proliferation. Once the cell commits to this uh, transition, the cell proliferation continues, uh, and deregulation of cell proliferation is a hallmark of cancer. So inhibiting CDK4-6, uh, therefore, is a promise to inhibit the cell proliferation. In order to better understand the biology of the signaling pathways and how they relate to the mechanism of action of CDK4-6 inhibitors, we have prepared some animation that illustrate these points. One approach to treating advanced estrogen receptor positive breast cancer is by targeting the cell cycle. In a healthy cell, the cell cycle is well controlled. However, in a cancer cell, the cell cycle is deregulated from mutations or upstream signals, causing cancer cells to proliferate at faster rates than healthy cells. For example, in estrogen receptor positive breast cancer cells, the deregulation of the cell cycle is caused by the overexpression and overactivation of growth factor and estrogen receptor pathways. When these pathways become activated, they instigate a cascade of mitogenic signals. A wide variety of mitogenic signaling pathways converge at the level of cyclin D1 messenger RNA and protein upregulation. Cyclin D1 binds to and activates cell cycle-dependent protein kinases, or CDK4 and 6. The activated cyclin D1 CDK4-6 complex mediates the phosphorylation and inactivation of the tumor suppressor retinoblastoma protein. In a normal state, activated RB protein inhibits the cell cycle from progressing through the G1 phase. The phosphorylation of the RB, or retinoblastoma protein, releases E2F transcription factors from the protein complex, causing the cell cycle to progress from G1 to S phase and resulting in cancer cell proliferation. There are three selective ATP competitive inhibitors that have been developed to target the cyclin D1 CDK4-6 complex. These small molecule inhibitors block the cyclin D1 CDK4-6 complex and prevent the phosphorylation of RB protein. This stops the cell cycle from progressing to the S phase, preventing cell cancer proliferation or growth. In addition to causing transient G1 cell cycle arrest, preclinical evidence suggests that these inhibitors can also cause senescence and apoptosis. 
targeting the cell cycle with CDK4-6 inhibitors is a promising treatment option for patients with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. What preclinical evidence of the safety and effectiveness of CDK4-6 inhibitors do we have? In contrast to the pan-CDK inhibitors, which are toxic, they have uh, side effects to normal cells, CDK4-6 inhibitors are more, uh, have preferential effect on the cancer cells. And in preclinical studies, uh, CDK4-6 inhibitors have shown to be preferentially effective in uh, estrogen receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancers, and also in HER2 positive cancers, but not much uh, in the basal like uh, breast cancers. So there is synergy between endocrine therapy and also with uh, CDK4-6 inhibitors. Uh, but combining with chemotherapy uh, may not be the, the best way. They could contract with, with each other. So there is um, caution uh, with combining those agents. So in addition to breast cancer, uh, CDK4-6 inhibitor has also shown to be effective in controlling tumor cell growth uh, in a number of other tumor cell types, such as melanoma and, and uh, glioblastoma, et cetera. What are the most important things clinicians should remember about the pathobiology of the CDK4-6? So uh, what we uh, need to remember is that uh, the cell cycle is deregulated uh, in cancer cells, and many cancer cells are uh, actually dependent on the CDK4-6, and they are highly dependent on it. And this is due to a mechanism that would activate CDK4-6. So for example, we talked about cyclin D1 can be amplified, and uh, because its critical role in activating CDK4-6, cells can be um, activating their g 2 s phase transition. So when you inhibit CDK4-6, um, this releases uh, the, or put a break uh, on the g one to s phase transition or the cell proliferation. Thank you very much. Thank you.